This is Dave Fleming at the Ingenuity Lab. Welcome to another episode of LifeWork, a podcast that explores ideas and insights at the intersection of who you are and what you do, your life work. Well, there's a story from the Confucian tradition that goes like this. One night, Confucius dreamt that he was taken to visit the damned in hell. He was very surprised to visit the damned in hell, and when he got there, he noticed that they were all sitting in a beautiful banquet room, with the damned sitting around the table, all groaning under the weight of the most delicious food he had ever seen. They were allowed to eat anything they would like, but they had to use chopsticks, and the chopsticks were five feet long. The damned were starving, in agony, at the uneaten food before them, knowing that with all eternity in which to solve the problem, it could not be done. And then Confucius is taken to heaven, and heaven is an identical banqueting hall full of delicious food. The people around the tables are happy and well-fed, but they too must obey the same rule. The food can only be eaten with chopsticks that are five feet long. What's the difference? In heaven, People feed each other. Ooh, that's good. (laughs) Ha ha, that is really good. What a pointed way to describe the need we have for each other. And just for a couple of minutes this morning, I want you to consider that you are not enough. You are not enough on your own. I am not enough on my own. Particularly in the individualistic culture that we in the West live in. Growing up with often figures that are loners. I grew up with Batman and Robin. Though they were together, they were loners. And it was really mostly about Batman. And even the story of Batman now in the 21st century is a guy who's a loner in a cave. And then there are other loners who go on these heroic journeys and have to overcome much of the the trouble in the world by themselves. The better stories, stories like Star Wars, are stories where there still is a hero, Luke Skywalker, but it's not about Luke on his own. It's about a group of people who are making it together, who are feeding each other, who are working together to accomplish something of meaning in the world. I am not enough. You are not enough. We could just stop the podcast right now. And that would be enough to think about for the day, maybe even for the week. Just what if you made your mantra for this week? I am not enough. And what if that helped you be reminded of the need for other people? And need not meaning, well, I I guess I have to have people in my world, in my life, in my work, but without it... It can't be as rich, as productive, as effective, as meaningful as it, as it can be. You need people in your life. And I want to just give you two sub-mantras to tell yourself this week. The big one is, I am not enough. What if as you walked into work, you said that? How could that change how you behave? What if when you left work, and you were on your way home, you could say, I am not enough. How might that change things for you? Well, here are two other mantras to say that will remind you that you're not enough. Here's the first one. I have good ideas, but they are insufficient. I have good ideas, but they are insufficient. So much of the world is about protecting ideas. And I get that. I, I, 
I believe that I come up with things and I put copyrights on them and I put my name on them and it says Dave Fleming, done by Dave Fleming, written by Dave Fleming, a podcast by Dave Fleming. But you know what? In reality, is that ever really true? I think of the books that I've written. Did I really come up with all of those ideas by myself? No. No, I sure didn't. We are standing on the shoulders of so many people who have come before us and the people who are around us that influence us. Nothing is really mine by itself. My ideas may be good, but they are insufficient. We want to protect so many of our ideas because we want to own them. But really, to eat at the banqueting table and to make the biggest um, impact in life is to feed each other ideas and to learn from other people's ideas, take their ideas in, and together have what I call uber ideas, bigger ideas. Those are the ones that really change the world. You have good ideas, but they are insufficient. Number two, you have a role to play, but you can't do it alone. You have a role to play, but you can't do it alone. I'm currently reading a book about Russell Wilson, who's the Seattle Seahawk quarterback, his mental coach in a book called It Takes What It Takes. His mental coach describes what they go through to get Russell Wilson ready for a game. And let me tell you, there are a lot of people involved. Russell Wilson may be a, an elite athlete and an elite uh, football quarterback, but he is not getting at that level, getting to achieve at that level by himself in any way. He has a team, and he has coaches, and he submits to them. He has a role to play, but he can't do it alone. What if you said that mantra when you walked into work? or back home in the evening. I have a role to play, but I can't do it alone. Today, think about the reality that you are not enough. And don't let that depress you. Let it excite you that you have a role to play and your ideas are good, but your ideas are insufficient and your role by yourself will not accomplish the bigger realities and the bigger purposes that you want to go after in life. You need other people. I need other people. I am not enough, but when I look around the banqueting table, I see other people who are willing to feed me. Am I willing to feed them? This is Dave Fleming in the Ingenuity Lab. Thanks for joining me for another episode of LifeWork.